Hey everyone, welcome back to Better Biomed. Today I want to talk about something that I've talked about before on this channel, but not together. And, and what we're going to talk about today is battery powered vacuums. All right, because I believe that this is one of the most important tools in your entire toolkit. So I've got a couple uh, versions right here. I've got the Milwaukee and down here I've got the uh, DeWalt version, both of which are battery powered, but at the same time, uh, like that guy down there has the ability to be plugged in as well. Why would you need a vacuum? Well, how many people are not doing the correct PMs out there? It's quite a few, isn't it? It's in fact very annoying and infuriating sometimes because let's say uh, in the middle of the night you get called in if you're doing on call and you come to find out that uh, one of the centrals for your patient monitoring is down because it's completely jam packed full of lint. I've been there a couple times in fact and when I come back into work the next day I am absolutely upset at whoever that area of responsibility is and you know they seem to come back and they say huh it's because we didn't have vacuums that seems to be a pretty common excuse well vacuums are essential to our job essential not not a nicety it's essential so I have a perfect example here I have uh, this heater which uh, you guys will be seeing on a future video and uh, it has liquids inside it liquids which could uh i mean it's got an evacuation procedure to clean it out but first off i don't want to clean it out completely because if i did then it, it would lose its prime and secondly there's a bunch of material that are in the bottom of this thing that i want to clean out and i could do it with rags and probably quite a few rags because there's a lot of water down there but i could take just moments and do it with a vacuum it's fantastic so uh let's first go over uh what vacuums i have and what am i talking about all right, so guys, uh, this here is the Milwaukee uh, Packout version. Um, you know, all these vacuums have two things in common. They have a suction port and they have an exhaust port. And here I have the DeWalt version. And the DeWalt version has got, you know, a uh, suction port and evacuation port. Um, you can use the evacuation port for inflating things. Believe it or not, there's enough head pressure where it will inflate like balloons or air mattresses and stuff. It, it, trust me, there's a lot of pressure on uh, these vacuums. Um, both of these are brushless variants. Um, and that means that they can run off, well, this one here particularly can run off AC or a lithium ion battery pack. And in fact, this one can also run off of um, the dual volt. So it's the 20 volt max or the 18 volt. Um, and this one here, the Milwaukee Packout version, I like it because it's got covered uh, onboard storage so things don't get lost. But uh, at the same time, it's got a battery inside it. And uh, yeah, this one here is not dual voltage. It doesn't need to be dual voltage, but it's battery only. But that's okay because I keep extra batteries. Now, when you're in the field, you are usually not around a place where there's a plug. Usually not. I mean, if you're in a central core underneath, let's say, a sterilizer and you're cleaning out the drain pans. Um, if you're around a treadmill, treadmills plug in usually to 220 volt. Usually you don't have the ability to plug into 120 volt locally, uh, especially not with, you know, a six foot cord. But battery powered is absolutely essential. For one, you're isolated electrically. So if you are sucking out fluids, because both of these are wet dry vacs, that's a huge plus. Um, both of these have HEPA filters, so, and it's a very easy to replace HEPA filter. And if you are going to be in a patient care environment, that is obviously ideal. You remove the HEPA filter whenever you're going to suck out liquids, which is what I'm going to do in just a moment. Um, but these, these vacuums here are very useful, probably the most useful tool in your toolkit. You can blow out, uh, lint and air you can suck out liquids and, and solids and lint and all that nastiness, and it collects it in a nice watertight reservoir. This one's got one right here. It's got two latches on the side. This guy here's got two latches. The wet dry backs always have a ball valve or a ball float rather, and this ball float, so when it, the reservoir fills up with liquid, it seals it off, and that way there, your vacuum 
does not get damaged by any liquids going into the motor. Huge plus. Onboard storage. The DeWalt's got onboard storage here and it's also got um, this floor suction tool. So if you're doing liquids, this guy here is such a big plus. Got a very flexible hose, which uh, got a, a dual tip. You can see I've replaced the hose on my Milwaukee. Unfortunately, that guy got damaged. Um, it is what it is. Very nice carrying handle on both of these. Maybe a little more comfortable on the Milwaukee because the diameter, but um, very nice vacuums. And the DeWalt can be kind of loud. Although the DeWalt was one of the first battery powered vacuums that really kind of hit the scene. And Milwaukee came out with this refined gentleman, which I would venture to say you can hear me talking quite easily. If I'm going to be in a patient environment, this is the vacuum I'm taking because of this. Because even my my microphone's right here, and it's it's really close to it, and my microphone is much further away from the Dewalt, and you can tell it's very difficult for me to speak over it. It can be kind of a, a, a problem in a patient care environment. So anyway, that is my, um, this is my vacuum that I, I use now because I use the Milwaukee Packout system as a system. But for home and, you know, for some of the dirtier jobs, I still use this DeWalt because it is still an absolute champ. And it's a, it's a dirty girl. So, I mean, uh, why not just get her even dirtier? So, what I have here is I have a heater where there's still water in the bottom of the reservoir, you can see, but what the camera's not really picking up is that there is a bunch of other garbage down in this little tray. Kind of a cool design feature because there is a screen on the intake, but all the garbage gets stuck down in here, plus some of the residual water. The water comes in here, it exits out over here, but I don't want to suck it completely out because if I do, then my pump is going to lose its prime. I know that the water that's in the priming circuit is going to be somewhat clean because of the induction screen. So all I want to do is clean the basin, wipe it out and get it ready to go back into service for the customer. So here we go. Wet dry vac. There is nothing that cleans out these devices, fluidotherapy, whatever faster than these uh, battery powered wet dry vacs. So convenient. Plus I can pick it up, move it around. we go all the fluid is in here now I have a nice clean chamber where I can just wipe it out with a rag really quickly and easily which I actually have right here check, check that out wipe it out it's ready to go back into service for the customer think about how fast you can do PMs with a battery powered vacuum they are miles and miles and safer they're safer than traditional vacuums. You know, those, those uh, traditional electronics vacuums, you know, the 3M, the plastic cube that we've been using for 30 years, 30 years. I was repairing electronics before the military, before biomed, and I was using the same 3M vacuum when I was fixing photocopiers, fax machines, and industrial printers 20 some years ago. It's crazy. Now we got battery powered vacuums, I can safely vacuum out a device that's filled with liquids without having to worry about getting a GFCI or, you know, some sort of special electrical outlet because I'm working around fluids and electricity. Get around that. Yes, I could plug this guy in, the, the DeWalt, but I'm not. I, I'm running them almost completely off with the ion batteries. I use the six amp hour batteries on both my devices. You know, we got, uh, here's a five amp hour on this guy, six amp hour here. They run for probably 20 to 30 minutes. That is a long time, long time, 20 to 30 minutes. That is plenty of time to go around and vacuum out a bunch of PCs or, you know, clean your medical equipment, 
maybe even vacuum the floor after you do a installation project. Like if you're drilling into something and you got debris on the floor, whip out your battery powered vacuum. Sometimes even in some of these construction sites, there might not even be mains voltage available. So just for the flexibility and for the ability to do quick and easy PMs, I would say the battery powered HEPA vacuum is one of the greatest things that you can have in your arsenal as a biomed. So anyway, guys, that's just a brief overview and a live demo because this guy was dirty and I did have to get um, all the liquids out of there because this has got to go back into service. However, uh, now I can actually say that it's clean, right? Yeah, but here's the one caveat to this whole entire system. Make sure that you empty out the water that's in your vacuum as soon as possible. Stagnant water will create problems. Don't travel with it like that because still there's a chance that the water will get up past the ball and into your vacuum engine system. A big no-no. So drain the water in a deep sink as quickly as you can and then allow it to air dry out because stagnant water breeds bacteria and nasty odors and fungus. Just clean it out, maintain your vacuum like you would any of your other tools, and it will serve you for years to come. Anyway, guys, hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Now, I believe 65 to 70% of you are not subscribers, and that hurts my feelings. So, subscribe to the channel. Hope you like this video. Thanks for watching, guys.